Finding the right home for you, looks, location, price, and so on and so forth is extremely important. Believe it or not, the mortgage you get for that home is just as important. The mortgage you get is an agreement between you and your lender, which they typically sell off to a different company, and then you have a new processor on board, common practice in the lending world, and that agreement states the interest you pay, the length of the loan, and all the things you can do wrong that they'll default on you in case you do those things wrong. On top of that, you get protections by the federal government that they have to disclose to you as the lender since the 08 financial crisis. So you as a borrower are also protected. Let's get right into what makes these loans so important and what you should look for. We're in Houston right now walking our new 56 unit crazy property here. It starts down there. We got a lot of billion dollars. I put together a list here because they're too many for me to remember and I haven't used half of these loans yet, but here they are. You got conventional, conforming, non-conforming, FHA, government insured VA, government insured department of USDA agriculture loans. Six different loan types that you can qualify for depending on your background, if you've provided service for the country and your income and so on and so forth. So let's get into what makes these loans good, bad, and what you should look for. Conventional mortgages are for people that have good income. They are not looking to put down too much money. It's their first time buying the home or it's their first residence that they're moving into. You can't use these properties as investment properties. It's spelt out in the agreement that you're not allowed to do that. Although it's very common for people to house hack and rent out bedrooms within the home in order to help supplement their income, the taxes, insurance, mortgage, and so on. People get away with putting down as low as 3% on these conventional mortgages. Typically, people put down around 10% and the balance is financed by the lender. This is all resolved at the closing table. Both sides bring their money in forms of check and wire transfers. Sometimes the lender will cover your closing costs, but if not, you should factor between 3 to 6%, depending on the amount of points you're paying and the state you're in, transfer taxes, etc. FHA loans set varying factors from year to year and they go up and down depending on the year and the economic cycle. So 2021, the maximum loan limit for an FHA loan was $548,250 and that was raised in 2022 to $647,200. I personally have never taken a loan like this, an FHA loan, but I know many people that do. I think it's a fantastic option option for buying your first property and getting started. A lot of these varying factors come down to location, median income, the typical houses, what they're going for, but you need to get to know your area and speak to a local professional in order to find out. By local professional, I mean a local lender. They're going to know better than anybody what those rates are, what those limits are, and the things that are really important for you to know as the borrower. Non-conforming loans don't typically have ceilings. I've seen some ceilings at around $3 million for a non-conforming loan because it can also be used as an investment loan. So with that being said, you could buy a property within an entity, not in an entity. An entity will shield you from liability on that specific property. If your name, your personal name is attached to the property and somebody sues you, then there's no corporate veil to protect you and that property. Conforming loans, although that sounds great and all and you have higher limits, you have to put down more money as a debt. Down payment. The highest loan to value that I've seen in the market for a non-conforming loan is 20%. Most non-conforming loans make you put down 25 to 35% based on the lender and the criteria of the property. VA loans are strictly for veterans of the United States of America. If you were in the service, Army, Navy, Marines, etc., then you'll qualify for a VA loan. VA loans are actually some of the best loans that you could qualify for in America. I've never seen anything as good as VA loans. You don't have to put anything down. You get the best rates. Sometimes closing costs are even covered and commissions aren't paid. I mean, it's phenomenal. Sometimes commissions are paid if you hire a broker, but there's local lenders that you could go through that you don't have to pay broker fees. I suggest going to a broker because they're going to make sure you get to the closing table. Your vision is aligned. Even if you have to pay a little bit, it's all right because you have somebody holding your hand through the entire process with experience. USDA loans are for people that live in agriculture or rural based areas, typically lower income, larger plots of land. I've never used this loan. I don't think I will qualify for this loan as an investor 
but it's not something that most people do use. It's a mid-country type of loan. You don't see this in dense cities like New York, Miami, LA, etc. Long story short, all of these loans have their advantages and disadvantages. Some you might qualify for, some you might not. What I suggest you do is locate somebody that has experience in your local market. You could look them up on Google, loan officers, real estate lending. There's tons of key terms and a lot of references on social media. Call one of them, get somebody on the line, a true person, and they'll hold your hand through the process. Keep in mind, they're trying to make their commission on you, so they wanna make sure that you get to the closing table and make the deal happen. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you share this with a friend if they're looking to get a mortgage. If you need any more tips or advice on real estate, or just looking for a way to build passive income, go to my Instagram channel, LinkedIn, YouTube, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have anything to say. Until next time. Oh,